so sorry, just one more moment, I don't like to keep you waiting at all. There we go. Sorry, my last client ran over a little bit and I am a little bit of a perfectionist. Anyway, now it's all about you. Are you sure you're okay with your drink there? Good, I can't get you anything to eat. Okay, will you just let me know? Okay, it's lovely to meet you by the way. My name is Penelope and I am co-director here at Superior Styling. So we are a complete style overhaul agency. So we not only help with things like fashion and beauty, but also we can help to take your life to the next level. So today is your initial consultation. All right, now obviously we just spoke very briefly on the phone, mm -hmm. but I remember you just telling me something about you just thought it was time for a new start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we hear especially this time of year, don't we? New year, new me. And to be honest with you, our philosophy here is that the old you is always good enough. That is always a perfect foundation to work on. But if you want to take things to the next level and you really want to step up your game, then that is where we come in, okay? So never think that the old you wasn't good enough. This is about just taking things a step up, okay? So I'm going to take, to start with, just some basic details because all I have is your name so far. Okay, so could I just confirm your name to begin with, just to make sure I have got the right person? Perfect. You haven't got a friend called Mark, have you? Oh, you have a very, very similar name to someone. You do. Anyway, sorry. Okay, and could I just take your date of birth? Mm-hmm. Lovely. And are you local to us or have you travelled to see us today? Wonderful. How long have you lived there? Very nice. That's a lovely area. Yeah, I actually looked at an apartment and a couple of roads away from there. It's really, really nice. Do you see the little um, new shopping mall that's being built? Yes, I always look out for areas that have a new things built. Always a sign that property's on the rise. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. So, great location. And are you happy there? You're not looking to move? Perfect. No, I think I could stay there. It's really, really nice. Okay, and what do you do for a living? Very nice. How long have you been doing that? Okay. What were you doing before? Equally as impressive. Okay, very nice. Wonderful. And just going back to that property there, um, do you mind me asking, are you the homeowner or are you renting? No, that's understandable, that's fine. Prices are a little bit crazy. Lovely, not a problem. The reason I like to get details like this is because, as I mentioned before, we are a complete lifestyle overhaul agency, so we're going to try and help you improve all areas of your life, okay? So just getting as much information as I can is going to help in the long run. All right, so let's carry on. Right, why did you decide to join the agency? What's, if you could sum it up in a sentence, would you say is the main reason, apart from you just wanted a fresh start? Okay. Mm. 
So you've got some friends who you feel are kind of moving up a little bit. You're feeling a little bit left behind. Okay, well that's a completely natural feeling. Completely normal and natural. So we can definitely, definitely work on that. I think what we like to do here really is try to work on, as I said, all the different areas of your life and through doing that you'll actually learn more about how actually it's not so much about the competition or feeling left behind with your friends but just areas in your life where you personally may feel you're slightly lacking rather than comparing yourself to people so we'll help you discover that. Okay? Perfect. Right, can I ask, are you in a relationship at the moment? Okay. Lovely, Leo. And how would you describe your lifestyle at the moment? Would you say you're, for example, fitness-wise, a quite healthy, active person? Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to put lightly active, okay, lightly active, good, and what about your eating? Mm -hmm. We all love a cheeky takeaway, we do, but generally speaking, sounds like you're alright. Okay, okay, areas to improve, but generally not bad. That's a good start. Oh, how is your relationship with your family? Yeah? Okay, we do have um, relationship counsellors to deal with any, you know, members in your life. So, whether that be romantic or family, friends. So, if you are having any issues, then that is something we can help with as well. But that's fine. And do you have any pets at all? Okay. No, I don't at the moment. I am desperately looking because I love animals. Anything you'd recommend? Yeah? Yeah, I always get a bit worried about their breathing. They are cute though. I know, I know. Anyway, okay, back to you. So, just going over this generally, it seems like you've got a good job, mm -hmm. um, you're lightly active, your eating's fairly normal, I would say. You seem in quite good shape, yeah? Um, so, I think that's enough information for the moment, as I don't want to overwhelm you with lots and lots of questions. So, today what we're going to start with is your fashion sense. Okay, now, let me get a new page for this. So, in a sentence, how would you describe your sense of style? Okay, so I'm going to write down the easy option. Yeah, you like to go in a shop, you'll kind of see what colours you may like, Pick it up if it fits. You're good. Yeah? Okay. And how long have you had this particular style? Okay. Right, so it's never, never really changed. Okay, it's just, it's just kind of developed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you enjoy flicking through fashion magazines? Does it interest you at all? Okay. If, for example, I were to ask you who your favourite designer is, would you say anyone in particular? Okay. 
That's quite sleek. Mm, okay, that's actually very helpful. So, aspirationally speaking, is that, you know, the type of look you'd like to go for? Mm. Yeah, because for me, just observing you, you have a really, really strong face. Mm -hmm. Very attractive. So I think, in a way, let the face do the talking. You just really want to make the most of your body, but I don't think it needs to be really loud. Exactly. So I think sleek, I was going to suggest anyway, so that's really good. We're going to be on the same page. Okay. Lovely. And on a day-to-day -day basis, obviously when you're at work, um, what's your typical look? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. And what about the shoes for work? Okay, are you more of a comfort over style kind of person? Ease. Mm, okay work on that. I'll find you something very stylish but comfortable, which is quite hard to do, but I have a few tricks of the trade, so don't worry. Okay, um, and casually speaking, what do you normally go for? Okay. Yeah. Definitely I'm getting a comfy vibe mm. okay now when you're at home just chilling what type of look do you go for mm. okay okay yeah so for me um I love the kind of sports luxe look. Have you heard of that? Okay, so it's really just combining um, what you just described there, kind of um, leisure wear, but in a much more stylish way. Okay, so don't worry, we can mood board everything and I can show you suggestions and obviously we'll go shopping together and sort everything out. This is just me getting an initial vibe of your style. Okay, so I think that's going to be the way forward for you because you like that comfortable look. But this is going to be much more stylish. Okay. Now, in an average month, how much would you say you normally set aside for fashion? Okay. Is that because you are pretty restricted for time? Maybe you can only go online or go physically shopping at the weekends? It's because you just don't know what to buy. Okay, you have come to the right place. Trust me, we are going to have so much fun together and we are going to make you feel the best that you can feel so that you can be the best that you can be. Okay, that is one of our mottos here. I promise. So, good. Well, now I've got a general idea of kind of the vibe that you go for. Let me pop that down a sec. I just want to kind of do a little bit of observation. Okay, so just stand how you'd normally stand, or is that how you'd normally stand? It is. Okay. So, first things first. I don't think fashion ever looks good if you stand there all hunched over. So if you're going to stand like this, for example, okay, it doesn't hang the clothes well and you immediately feel a bit more tired and you're looking more towards the ground whereas if you imagine that you're being pulled up by an imaginary string and pulled backwards as well 
can you see immediately just how the clothes fit so much better, my jacket's hanging better yeah, so let's just do that now lovely, I'm being pulled from the top okay, so perfect clothes are already sitting so much better so these are all the kind of simple tricks that I am going to be sharing with you so at the moment your clothes aren't doing anything for your body okay, I'm just going to be blunt they're just kind of existing okay, so I always think that you shouldn't put on an item of clothing unless it does something either for you mentally or something for you physically so unless it makes you actually feel better or unless it makes you look better or enhances what you have you shouldn't put it on okay? so how do you feel wearing what you are wearing? Mm. So that's not good at that. It's not. Can I get you, sorry, just before I carry on, can I get you some more champagne? Are you sure? Oh, bless you, I know. Honestly, I need to stop eating canapes. I know I've been way too obsessed with smoked salmon and cream cheese and caviar bellini since Christmas time. I know, now we've had them out in the office still for clients coming in and you have done well, you have done well with just two I'm impressed, there's some willpower there okay, good, but you don't need any more champagne, water, tea, coffee okay, perfect so, where was I? sorry, distracted um, yes, I don't believe in wearing clothing just for the sake of it okay, I'd rather you didn't have anything and wear something that you don't like okay so at the moment this t-shirt that you've got on it's not really doing anything no it's it's a little bit baggy I'm gonna come a little bit closer actually it's quite baggy and the color I don't think is working with your skin tone okay do you normally wear this color a lot mm, I do not like this color yes, yeah, sorry, you should know um, when I have to be quite direct I am quite direct yeah, that makes me sound like honestly, horrible but honestly, this is for your own benefit okay, so I don't think this colour all works with your skin tone no, not at all so, do you wear this colour quite frequently? So, that colour is, from today, goes in the bin. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. So, um, let me see the bottom half. Just do, yeah, do a little twirl. Mm, okay, and back round. Mm, okay, so again, those jeans aren't really working, are they? You don't think they're too bad? Okay. What do you think they're doing for your body? Right. So, for me, what I think they're doing is they're not giving you any lift around the back area. They are quite baggy on the thighs. Mm -hmm. so it's not really showing off much of your shape and I think they also are too long okay it's immediately going to date you the baggier the jeans are and the longer the jeans are okay we are not in the 70s okay I know all of that style is kind of coming back around but there's a way to do it right and there's a way to do it wrong okay Well, no, I just told you, I'm just a little bit more direct when it comes to the actual fashion. Okay? No harm is meant, okay? I just, I really need to kind of get in my zone. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Right. Where were we? Yeah. So, the top and the jeans, bin, don't like them. 
Um, do you wear jeans quite a lot, casually? Mm. What else do you wear? Right. Okay. So, I'm getting the vibe of kind of you can't really be bothered in a way to kind of make that effort to change with that bottom half style. It's all kind of very monotone. Mm. Yeah, so we can definitely work on that because actually, without asking you to just take everything off, um, I can tell that you have a really great shape. Mm -hmm. So you've got a lot to work with. Yeah, now let me just see you turned around again. Mm. Obviously, next time you come in, um, we're going to do the beauty talk with you. So, sort of the hairstyling and, um, you know, other areas of the skin and all that jazz. We're definitely going to need to get you a new hairstyle, okay? Because I think what people forget is, especially when they're just kind of taking selfies, um, you kind of forget what they look like, you know, with the back of the head. So, we can definitely work on that. Um, now, you've got quite broad shoulders. Mm. Is that from working out, or is that just your natural build? Okay. Yeah, no, but I can work with that, I can work with that. I just kind of like to, you know, know the vibe, the body shape. Um, lovely. How tall are you? Okay. Yeah, you know, you can turn back around. Okay, so, um, what I want to do is I just want to put a couple of, um, colour charts up to you to see what works with your skin tone. Already, um, we know that this kind of taupey vibe just washes you out, so we're not going to deal with that. But let me just get my charts here. Let me just, let's see. Okay, so this is more, my more neutral chart. Mm. Now, I don't know if you're a neutrals person, okay? Let me just, uh, look at the other one. Right. Weirdly, that kind of salmon colour works for you. Um, yeah, that's actually quite nice. I think, um, more of the darker neutrals work quite well, but not the lighter ones. Okay, good. Right, so I'm just kind of going through the rainbow here as it were, so let's have a look. Oh no. Oh, that is not good. Okay, we definitely need to keep you away from those kind of citrus colours. That is not good. about this. Mm. Do you wear a lot of blue? Right. No, it's quite nice. I quite like the, um, more the navy tone. Yeah, that's quite nice. Let me just actually just put that concentration on you as well. That's quite nice, actually. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let me just try the, um, the reds now. Okay. Have you ever been for any type of, um, image consultation before? No. Okay. No, just wondering. Is this what you sort of expected? No, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, I think that actually the um the kind of warm tones you suit really really well. Yeah, so I think that's what you've been doing wrong. The tones that you're wearing are quite cool, so I think we're definitely going to be looking for the warmer, rich tones. Okay, so that's actually really useful. So let's write that down and start a new page. And what I'll do with all the information that I'm writing down here, because I know it's very kind of last century doing my writing, 
but what I'm actually doing is just making as many notes as I can and then I will create a profile for you on our systems um, and we can actually just work with you to continually build that profile to see what works for you, what doesn't and then we'll build a complete kind of mood board around that. Okay, so warm tones, okay, so stay away from cool tones. for the beauty session, yeah, um, so I can kind of have as much involvement as you like, obviously that depends on the pricing structure that you would like to choose, I did go over those on the phone with you. Yeah, exactly. You want to go for the top, the top of the range. Perfect, I knew I had to go so obviously then yes, um, so I would be coming with you to make sure that you know you get the right look for your haircut, we will go shopping together, we will do all of that, okay? So I will be like your personal lifestyle guru, transforming all areas, making them just more stylish and luxurious. Exactly. Okay. Good. That's actually good for me to know. Perfect. So we agreed, didn't we, over the phone just on the basic rate, but you've seen what we can offer. Good. Okay. So, um, we also mentioned that we're going to go for more form-fitting items. Okay, so we're going to stay away from the bagginess. But don't worry. I know that your look that you enjoy wearing is more comfort, so as I say, going for that more sports luxe look is going to really work well for you. Mm -hmm. And then in that everyday work environment, we're going to find a really nice balance between comfort and style, okay, but still very sophisticated. Lovely. Okay. We do also have a confidence coach here. Yes, yeah, so um, if that's something you would like help with as well, um, we can help with that. She is definitely a character. She is, um, yes, yeah, she's moved about a lot in Europe. Yeah, she's actually quite well known for doing this, but she is quite eccentric, um, but she will definitely try to bring out the best in you. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely, I'll make a note of that. She, um, only comes in when clients, you know, want to see her. She's not permanently on site, so we will have to contact her for you, but that's fine. Yes, no, that's, um, that's all included, especially if you're doing the, um, top of the range package, so that's fine. Lovely, darling. Well, listen, I don't, as I said, want to overwhelm you too much today, but I just wanted to meet with you, get an understanding of your styles. I think once you do start to, you know, look in the mirror and just feel better, even if it is kind of more aesthetically, we can kind of move forward from there, so it's quite a good place to start. Absolutely. Okay, so do you have any questions for me? Bless you. Absolutely. Look, we can get this moving as fast as you like. Yeah, so you can come in next week. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let me see. Um, my diary. Okay, Sarah. Well, Sarah's booked out for next week. I have a couple of slots. Um, I can do Friday at 10.30. Oh, no, you can't because you're going to be working. Um, let me see if I have anything in the evening. I can do Friday at 8, actually. 
yeah, I'll, I do um, evening appointments for any of our top of range clients. Yeah, we know how busy you are, so it's not a problem. Yeah, wonderful. I will book you in for that now before we forget. I'll send you an email and a reminder as well. Your email's still the same. Yeah. Just also, I know I do have your number and your email and everything, but could you just confirm your best contact number for me? Thank you. Mm. Yeah, love it. Perfect, okay then, so Friday at 8. You will be bored of me, you'll be seeing me so much. <laughs> It'll be worth it in the end, but I promise, I promise. So, that is everything. Thank you so much for coming in to see us. Yeah, well, you know where we are if you need us, okay, before then. But if that is everything, then I will see you on Friday. Yeah, thank you for coming in. And until next week, okay? Have a productive and positive week, darling. Change starts here. Okay. Bye. Bye. Right. Um. Okay. Let me just see who else I've got. Oh no! It, no, it closes on its own. It's fine. All right. Bye. Right. Okay. So I'm not got them on the Friday evening. Um, that's fine. That should give me enough time. Yeah.